Hi, my name is Dave. This is the first video of a three video series about the Emco Compact 5 lathe. In this video I'll be introducing the lathe and talking about various accessories and so forth. In the second part we'll talk about exclusively about threading on this lathe. And in the third part we'll talk about milling. I have a special surprise for you. The Emco Compact 5 came in both a metric and a, an inch version. This happens to be the inch version. Works perfectly in the United States. Um, and you can see all the different thread pitches that can be cut with this thing using a set of change gears. It does include a good number of metric threads as well. And here are the speeds, 250 up to about 2800 RPM. Okay, let me show you what it looks like to make a cut with this lathe. There are a lot of accessories available for this lathe, and it's still pretty easy to find those on eBay. Uh, but a lot of them, you know, the original Emco accessories, for example, this thing, this is a quick change tool post. The Emco version costs a fortune. Uh, this little guy is not too expensive and works just as well. And you can get a lot of little uh, tool post tools for it, etc. So, um, and this thing here, this compound, you probably could adapt another cheaper Chinese version. This is very nice though. Uh, it's well made. Uh, there are two positions. You can set this two positions closer or farther away. This does have, um, I think it's 20 TPI in here. So it's, uh, it's inch threads. Same for the lead screw, which is inch threads on this particular lathe. Here, of course, is a nice drill chuck, and the drill chuck will interchange with another larger one. This is an aftermarket item also, I think. I can't remember what those threads are, probably M14 by 1, something like that, just, just a guess. So um, there are lots of accessories you can get. This is a better quality lathe chuck than normally comes with the lathe, uh, but it is Emco, so it's a and it's a very very nice uh, chuck. Here's a four inch. This is an Emco also, and I'm sure you could find this in other brands. It's very good. The the Emco brands are extremely well made. These things are really high quality. Uh, this is a very good quality four jaw chuck. Here's a set of change gears. The lathe. These change gears These change gears are um, most all of them are plastic. Uh, but they're not under a good deal of stress, so it's probably not a, not a big deal. So here's a whole set of change gears for the lathe. Here's something kind of interesting. This is a collet chuck. This mounts right on here. Maybe I'll show you what that looks like mounted on there. And then this will hold ER25 collets, standard ER25 collets, uh, which is nice if you want to be able to turn small diameter things. That's a very good option for that. One of the complications with this lathe is that in order to change this chuck, for example, I have to loosen three bolts here, and I'm going to have to use either three or four bolts to put a different chuck on there or a mounting plate. It's just a bit of a, you know, it's a nice safety feature in the sense that you can't possibly unscrew one of these chucks. It just takes a few extra minutes to do it. 
But get used to that. If you own one of these lathes, you're going to be handling your Allen wrenches a lot. One way or another, almost everything you do is going to require an Allen wrench. And it's, uh, it's just going to take a little extra time. It's, they're well made though, I'll tell you that. The four jaw chuck, you put it on here, it's just beautiful, it's just superb. Same with the, um, same with the collet chuck. Okay, finally I got this thing mounted. This ER25 collet chuck. <clears throat> it took me about five minutes to do all that. Uh, let's turn it on and see what kind of runout we get with this thing. Kind of hard to believe that something sticking out that far is going to have not going to have a lot of runout. Let's try it. Well, looks pretty dang good. Yeah, Emco makes them well at least. So. At least uh, that thing isn't bouncing around as much as it might be. If I tried to make one of these myself, I'm sure the thing would be all over the place. Here are a couple of additional little accessories that are very nice. This is the, of course, here we are. this is a steady rest, which is very nice if you're going to cut something longer at the end. Here's a follow rest for working on long thin pieces. Mounts right about on there on the carriage. Those are nice to have. I hope you've enjoyed watching part one of this three part series of videos on the Emco Compact 5 lathe. If you like this one, please check out number two and number three in the series. Thank you for watching.